Hello everyone, my name is Trisa of Chapsik and Succulents and in this video, let's talk about Kalankoi Pink Butterflies. Kalankoi Pink Butterflies, also known as Pink Mother of Thousands, is a very colorful succulent plant that is native to Madagascar. This is a variegated form of a hybrid. Variegated meaning that the plant has both green and non-green parts and hybrid plants are the result of cross-pollinating two different plant varieties. The original hybrid is also known as Hotton's hybrid, and it is a cross between Kalankoi de Yegri Montiana, also known as Mother of Thousands, and Kalankoi de Lagoensis, also known as Mother of Millions. And somewhere along this line, Kalankoi pink butterflies came about. A lot of people are confused with these two parent plants, so let's talk about their differences. This is Mother of Millions, and this is Mother of Thousands. Mother of Thousands has broad spoon-shaped leaves. They are green above, with blotches of grayish-purple underneath. Oftentimes, they grow in pairs opposite each other. At the edges of the leaves, you'll see some ridges where plants form. This is also called alligator plant or Mexican hat. This plant may look different in other locations because some of them are either hybrids or when watered well and not exposed to enough sunlight, the leaves can turn all green. But you can easily identify this plant by the shape of the leaves and the tiny plantlets growing along the edges. This is Kalankoi tubiflora, also known as Mother of Millions, Devil's Backbone or Chandelier plant. If you compare the number of plantlets they have, Mother of Millions has fewer plantlets that are growing only at the tip of its leaves, while Mother of Thousands has a lot of plantlets growing along its edges. And I guess this is where the confusion came from. But Mother of Millions live up to its name by being highly invasive. It can overtake a garden and displace other plants, so extra precaution is needed to contain them. Mother of Millions is a restricted invasive plant in Australia. It is not allowed to be given away, sold, or released into the environment without a permit. It is not welcome there because it has caused a significant number of cattle deaths when the animals consume the plants. So Mother of Millions is not only an invasive weed, it is also very toxic. But does it mean that this is a useless plant? Well, imagine millions of these highly invasive succulent weeds growing in fire-prone areas of California. They might be the solution to the ever-growing fire problems we face each year. Because unlike other weeds that die with prolonged drought and can cause fires, succulent plants can help contain the fire because of their stored water in their leaves and stems. What do you think? All these plants that we talked about today, Mother of Millions, Mother of Thousands, the original hybrids and pink butterflies, are all toxic when ingested by pets and children. All parts of the plants are toxic, and their flowers are five times more toxic. When ingested, it can cause gastrointestinal upset like nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. Because the plant contains cardiac glycosides, when ingested in large amounts, it can cause cardiac arrest and can kill an animal as big as a cow. So if you have pets and small kids, Maybe it is not a good idea to grow them. The other name for Kalankoi pink butterflies is pink mother of thousands. Take a look at these leaves. The one with purple plantlets is mother of thousands. And the one with pink plantlets is pink mother of thousands. The shape and color of their leaves are the same, except for the color of their plantlets. Unlike its parent plant, Pink butterflies lost its ability to propagate fast because the pink plantlets lack chlorophyll. Therefore, this plant is not invasive.
The flowers of pink butterflies are very attractive and long-lasting. As the plant matures, it grows taller and longer, and the pink plantlets slowly drop off the ground, but very few will make it as mature plants. Once it flowers, the plant seems to lose its vitality and die when left unattended. If you are interested to propagate this plant, let me share with you several ways of doing it. First, when their flowers are about to die, you will find some small babies that are ready to be planted. You can remove them using tweezers and plant on your fast draining soil. Second, do not throw away the flowers. Trim the dead parts instead and plant the stalk on dry soil. It will give you more babies like this one. Third, trim the mother plant but leave the rooted part. It will grow more sprouts. Fourth, propagate the leaves. And if you haven't propagated from leaves before, check out my video about succulent leaf propagation. And lastly, do not forget to experiment. So here, let's try to propagate these pink plantlets and find out if they will grow or not. If you want an update about this propagation, please join our Facebook group, Chapstick and Succulents Global. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned a lot and don't forget to enjoy this succulent hobby. I will see you next time. Bye.